I don't honestly think there's anything more useless than tracking calories burned during a workout. Just ran for two hours, 600 cows in the bank, cha-ching! Human beings love this idea of hard work now equals reward later. Burn 600 calories during a workout now, enjoy 600 calories during a cheat meal later. But nothing boils my blood more than when I see people parading this number around on their stories like they've just win the friggin' lottery. And this is why. There's been countless studies done these days to show now that fitness trackers are highly inaccurate for the number they give you for calories burned in a workout. 50% inaccurate readings on calories burned. Different numbers from watch to watch. And we're not talking small little inaccuracies here. That means if your watch has shown you that you've burned 600 calories during a workout, that real number could be anywhere from 300 to 900 calories. Probably more like 300. I don't know what you could be doing in a workout for 45 minutes that's gonna burn 900 calories. It's a significant number. 600 calories. If that doesn't shed light on the problems with fitness trackers and calories burned, I don't know what will. 600 calories is nothing to scoff at. That's a meal, that's dessert, that's a couple of snacks. If your watch is telling you you've burned 600 calories, then you go and eat them back. But in reality, you've only burned 200. Well, you've just thrown yourself out of a deficit. You're not going to be eating towards your goal. That's the first problem with calorie trackers. The second thing is that I hear from people is the watch is telling me how hard I'm working. I can see my heart rate. I can see the calories burned. It's motivating. I know I'm working hard enough. Mate, you shouldn't need a watch to tell you that you're working hard enough in the gym. Things should be relatively difficult in the gym. If you're training at around a seven or an eight out of 10, each week, just do a little bit more. You're going to get to the point that you're training very, very hard. Even if you start off training really, really light and easy, five out of 10. If you progress every single week, you're going to hit a point where things get harder and harder and harder. You don't need a watch to tell you that you're training hard enough. Use your head. So calories tracked are no good for measuring the success of a workout. What should we be using then? Here's where progressive overload comes in. Training, okay, exercise. That is where we are building performance. We're building strength. We're building muscle. You should focus on doing a little bit better each week. Some sort of improvement. Adding a couple of reps in here or there. Adding 2.5 kg to the bar. Slowing down your movement. There's so many things you can do to progress in the gym. The fancy, sciencey term for doing a little bit better each week is called progressive overload. That is what we should measure the success of our workout on. Are we progressively getting better in our training? I would much prefer to hear my clients tell me, Izzy, I hit a little bit more volume on that workout. My connection to my lats is so much better this week. Rather than, yay, 600 calories burned. Training is for strength and muscle building. Activity and nutrition, that is where we are focusing on calories. That is where we're tracking calories in. That's where we're creating our calorie surplus or our calorie deficit, not our training. Let's say fat loss is your main goal. If you're tracking your calories in, if you're training consistently, you're keeping to a minimum activity level, let's say a step count, for example, and you don't make any progress in a week or two, lower the calories, stay consistent, go again. So I mentioned tracking calories just now. A lot of pushback that I hear from calorie tracking is that it's boring, it's tedious, I shouldn't have to track my calories. Well, what do you prefer? Being fat or having to log your food for a little while until you learn how to eat properly. Calorie tracking, macros, all of that stuff, it's like tracing paper. When you're a kid, you're four years old, had an American accent there. When you're four years old, you use tracing paper when you're drawing. Same thing with calorie tracking. You are a nutritional baby. You need some help with your nutrition. Once you know how to do these things, how to eat towards your goal, you can take the tracing paper away. Take the tracking away. 